start off with the basics. Um, I'm just going to ask you a few questions, get your thoughts. Like I'm getting many other women's thoughts on this so we can see a common denominator on how we can tighten up things before the family structure get haywire because things are already crazy. So I'm trying to see if there's any room to repair. And it's going to start with us young people to kind of see where we're making a mistake at and how we can kind of band-aid some of the things if it's possible. Um, I want to ask you, do you think women have more op- more more sexual options or husband options? Do you think, you know, of course, you know, a lot of women seem like they got options. A lot of guys go at uh, attractive women everywhere. Not even attractive women. Just a, a, I hate to say it, an unattractive woman with a nice body. Everybody gets attention nowadays. Do you think women really got quality husband options? Or they just got sex, they can have sex with a lot of men. Or you think they just got, you know, or do you think they actually have husband options? Um, if a woman wants to continue, continue, have, continue like that. Yeah, speak up, please. So if a woman wants to have babies, mm-hmm. if she wants her generation to continue, she will at some point look for someone with a husband material. Do you think, but do you think it's a lot of husband material out there, or do you think it's just morally, mainly guys that want to have fun, just want sex, or do you think it's actually a lot of husband material guys out there? And not that I have experienced so many, I haven't been, I haven't, okay, so there are, there are, most of them are, not husband material, but there are, there's some percentage of good men who would be good quality for, for, to be, to become husbands, I guess. Okay. So you think it's enough to go around for every woman? Mm, I know. No? (laughs) Unfortunately. But women, do you think women, women seem to be acting like they, it's enough to go around? They seem to be, you know, with their best years, the best attractive years in their life that they're ever going to be, they, you know, late teens and 20s. They seem to be like, skip to the loo like they got all the time in the world. Where do you think that comes from? You think they think they got all the time in the world or what? Because um, they, they don't seem to be having a sense of urgency to really be looking for a husband like back in the day. You know, our grandparents and stuff, they was getting married at 18, 19, 20, 20. And have a kid early. Now, you know, we seem to be acting like we just got all, you know, we seem to be nonchalant about the fact that, you know. I think I think in the older times, in the times of our grandparents, the most important thing would be, is this person uh, uh, someone I could marry and live with, I guess. Um, instead, nowadays, there are so many other criteria you would want your partner to meet. It could be looks. It could be, um, I don't know how, how that person clicks with your personality, with your passion and, passion and all that stuff. Uh, and if that person doesn't tend to meet all of your criteria and he doesn't even check one box, if you're young, you'd be like, okay, let me look and see my options. Um, the thing is for women, we don't have so much time if we, if we really want to make a family. Um, so... At some point, we do not, we don't have all that big option to look around. We have to be quick, and we have to see what's, what's more important. For us well, I see that's true. But do you, do, you, do you find a lot of your friends or women that you observe actually got the, like the mentality that they kind of want to get started now, you know, or they just feel like, oh, maybe later down the line later down the line which I don't blame because the more you grow even if it's one day later the way you think will be different because you have grown to some extent Um, so if you get like wait maybe two years then at that time you'll have a different mentality you'll have a different way to see people you'll have a different perspective you'll grow to some extent so I think that's a good thing but the more you push it I don't think it's so good or you don't have that many options as you did when you were younger oh yeah you said the more you wait you're not going to have that many 
options. So you're saying we already don't have that many options now, even while you're young. So you think when you're older, it's going to be better or even tighter? Because it's tight even now. It's kind of tight even for young because there's still more women in the world than men. Even It's just naturally like that. So we find it that a lot of women, as they get older, and they looks go down, their body go down, their mind wants to clamp on and do the right thing. But as older guys, they can still get younger women that's 18, 20, you know what I'm saying? But so their options switch. They're not going to get the same quality of guy that, you know, that they once could get at 20, you know, 20 to 25. So it gets kind of tricky for women unless you say, you know, the settlement mentality comes. You know, give me a weak man with money or somebody. You know, maybe just give anybody, but it ain't gonna be the same type of quality guy that he was normally attracted when he was 20 and 25, when he was at the physically best, more energetic, you know, more more innocent, you know, less experienced. Where you know, what I mean, everything just seemed new. You know, it just seemed like a lot of women just act like they got all the time in the world, and then the guy who they're supposed to be with. It should be love involved. It shouldn't just be kids. It should, you know, unless it's just an arrangement. But it should be some kind of. You want to, if it, you want to give. Because while women dating, they're kissing guys, they having sex. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like they wait until they got. So they, they still beating guys. The guys who the temporary guys get the best of them. And the guy who's gonna marry him and have kids by him, he getting them at the last. Leg. He's not getting the best version of it because they over 30, 35, 40. He's, he's getting the leftover version of it. Why the, the, the temporary guys got it when they were the best kids, the titties up, the butt round. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, so this is what I think. First of all, whether the guy meets you when you're fresh and young with titties up and butts up, like you said, there will be a time that all that will go away, whether you go fuck around with people or not. So I think the basic connection is not just your physical looks, right? That is not a priority, in my opinion. Not for girls, not for men. That shouldn't be. I understand exactly what you're saying. But it's just funny how you can't, how it's just like, all of a sudden, the important stuff comes to the forefront once that go down. You know what I mean? And they, it's, it's almost like the women know it's going down. Now it's time to focus on the important stuff. It's like, it's almost like, I don't want it until I have to, you know? Mm, but you don't, you, you can't really change yourself, can you? In terms of personality. If I'm one type of a person who is, let's say, who, who, has, a, who has a character who gets very angry quickly and doesn't go along with people that easily, I don't think I can change that when my physical... A, a, the physical thing that appeal that appeal other people when that goes away I'll, I'll still be that naggy angry person who doesn't get along with anyone right? well like I said those things can change but who you get along with because a man can provide you and you still not get you might not have the best connection with him it's not about that's, that's, the case that's why we anybody. take long that's why we take long to choose so if you have the provider, you're worried whether you're going to connect with him or not. If you have the person you connect with, you feel like once you connect and you get into something serious, the fact that there is something missing, the physical, the, the hardships of life, when those things hit you, it will create problems to you. So I don't think, yes, respect should be there. Compatibility in terms of your emotions should be there. But then other things that you as a person need to work on to be together with someone else should be there as well. That's when you can say, okay, now I'm ready to connect with someone else. If not, even making this bond, may, uh, making yourself available to be with someone else while you're, you're not mature yet, I guess, or you're not ready to get with another person, I think you should stay single and work to be in that position. Well, I, I see what you're saying. A lot of women think like that from what, I, from what I've seen from my interviews. I just think that 
it's, it'll work out better if they work out, if they just, they help each other out. We let, let's say, let's go ahead on. Because this person may be ahead in this way, the women might be ahead in that way. Hey, we ain't worried about that. Whatever you lacking that I have, I'm a, I got that, whatever you lacking that I have, whatever you don't have, we're going to grow together and balance it out together because I care about you, you care about me. I like the, your personality. I like the way you sacrifice for me. I like your heart. I like your attention. Let's grow together. I think that's the most important thing is getting somebody. The person is the hardest thing to find. All that other stuff can come and go. I might can provide today, might can't provide next year. Anything happens, people lose jobs, they get injured, they get sick. What I'm gonna leave the person because of that? Because it wasn't based on true love. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that. Um, I enjoyed the time with you. I, we're going to continue the interviewing women and seeing their thoughts on this. But um, I, you had some great points there. And um, hey, you seem like you know what time it is. Um, but it, a lot of women don't. But I do think they need people need to grow. Men and women need to grow. And that's just all about looking for a finished product. Because there's always going to be something you need to work on. So just it's hard. The hardest part is finding somebody that truly, truly has you in their best interest, no matter what. When they like you, even if you get burnt up, lose your looks, or whether you go flat broke and lose everything, they still by your side saying, "Let's do it together." So thank you so much for your time, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.